Hello guys and gals, and welcome back to more Earthbound. In the last episode, we started the Let's Play, learned Pokey's an asshole, Picky's okay. We'll see, we can never see Picky again, I'm pretty sure, but we'll see Pokey again. Anyway, um, let's see, I'm, I grinded a little bit, I'm now level 6, as you can see. Um, also, I have a bunch of money in the bank, I have like $300, which isn't a lot, but... It's a lot for this point. So, um, you may have noticed when I was talking to this dude, I can actually buy something called a cheap bracelet. Um, it's a really good, it's, it's not a good item, but it is your defense by a good chunk at this point. Um, and also you may notice there was a yo-yo you can buy. This is a, an equip that everybody can buy. Um, it's really powerful, I think, but it's really inaccurate, I want to say. I don't remember exactly the specifications of it, but never I would never ever personally get one. But none of my defense is like decently high. And I'm at a good enough level. Um actually I can take on two of these guys at once now. Uh this one. See I have a lot more HP and my I do so much more damage. It's awesome, I love it. Ow. Also, I got a lot of hamburgers, too. Uh, the, I think, one in... F I want to say one in four is a, uh... Hamburger. I have a bunch. I'll throw away the cookie, because I don't need the cookie. The cookie heals, I think, six HP. The hamburger heals, like, 60 or something like that. So it's just better to have the, uh, hamburger. What? How is that? What? Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, I'll take this guy. It's a bit more dangerous. Oops, did I type the wrong guy? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> nice. Right. I'll be cutting out battles later on when they get longer, but this is the point where they're just like nothing at this point. Plus I cut out all grinding as well. So the whole point of this is you want to go in here. This is the game corner, which obviously is like an arcade. Cool looking. It was you. You beat it, my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. Heh. Pogo Punk. Yeah, there's only... There's three, right? There's this, the Pogo person, the skateboard person, and the Blue person. I'm pretty sure those are the only three. So, um, God, I should have eaten one before I started this battle. Uh, sure, I'll throw away the can of fruit juice. Where is it? Right there. It's good to have this amount of ha this. It's good to have this amount of many hamburgers, though, because um, you want to save as much PP as you can for like, uh, for like part later because PP like usually MP in games isn't that crazy but like in this game you want to make sure that like it's your your MP is solid hello saliva spit spit with some of my gum get your own twit dang that was like a good, good rhyme sick epic meme eh. you buy an item that should be equipped do you bother to actually equip it heh I gave it to my own enemy such a rockin dude I obviously have total build compasses my own abilities so are we ready to get it on spanky sure whatever yeah, I guess you can see. Unless they're doing like their special attack, it's not gonna do much. I didn't even grind that much. I only killed like seven of them, which is how much? Hold on, how much? Do I need 112. Okay, I should be fine. But um, I didn't really get to talk about it. But uh, you actually have to um to get past this part. You have to talk to this guy. And if you say yes, just come back after you finish Earthbound. Again, another fourth level fourth wall weapon, say no and he was like, he'll fight you. I do kind of like how they look like they're like, in all black, but when you fight them in battle they're like, all these cool rocking dudes and stuff, it's kind of funny. Hamburger, oh a bag of fries, I think that's the rare drop, I don't know if that heals more, but each enemy has like a 1 in 4, 1 in 16, 1 in 32, 1 in 64, 1 in 128 drop. Not all of them have all of them, but there are some p points later in the game where I'm going to want to get the 128 drop. There's a few items that I want to get. But that's not until way later. Hello, Frankie. Da -da -da. I'm Frank. You are? Come on. Can we say your name? And this is a boss fight. With <laughs> some rocking music, mind you. Alright, this guy is actually not that hard. Uh, just keep attacking him. He'll, yeah, he'll swing at you and then he'll say something nasty, which lowers your guts. Guts in this game is kind of like luck. Um, it depends on how many like smash attacks you get. At this point, guts isn't that bad. Guts isn't that bad, but it also depends on. Cause okay, I'll, I'll explain it to this boss fight. Actually, I'll explain during it. But that was Frank. He's not hard. Fell proof Frank can't be beaten. Puff, puff, puff. This is Frankenstein Master Two. 
Yeah, this is this is this is the actual boss fight. He's the actual hard one, so I'm actually gonna eat a hamburger. I'll eat a bag of fries actually. I wanna see if that heals me a bunch. Oh, doesn't it actually heals me less than the burger, which is funny. Um but as you can see, my my HP doesn't go straight to however much it hit me with. It actually waits a little bit. It gets scrolls. And that's actually important because if you if you have a lot of HP and take something that instantly kills you, um or like and you and you like finish the battle, it'll actually stop scrolling. So like it works both ways. So if it hits you and you, you know, you're uh you're sc it's scrolling up, it stops, and if it's scrolling down, it stops and you finish the battle, or you heal, you know? Like it goes from that number. It's actually that number. So like if like I say for example, you have fifty HP, he has thirty to you, but you get to you get to actually like heal from like say you had forty forty three when like you actually use the healing item, it'll heal as if you had healed from forty three. It's kind of cool. I think it's how it works. Maybe it's only from dying. Anyways, um, guts depends on if you're gonna like sometimes live through a hit. Uh, like say it does like a lethal amount of damage to you. Guts will sometimes actually save you from dying. This is my first defeat. Fail proof Frank is not just failure, Frank. I don't know if you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about the giant step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there. This allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at this spot. It's difficult to get in a giant step, that's all I know. I suggest you, I suggest you collect more information on your own. The interest of the path leading to giant step is behind the Tory entrance entertainer shack. Perkle, the mayor of Anna has a key to the shack. Ness, you become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Thanks, Frank, you're a nice guy. So you just said... Okay, I didn't... He talked to me, I didn't talk to him. Um, where's the mayor's office? I don't even know. I think it's up here somewhere. But, like, that's how the HP works. It's actually interesting, because, like, there's a point in this game, like, right now, like, a little later on, there's a, like, you find a tree that, like, bursts into flames when it dies, and it does, it, it always kills you. But since you, if you just mash through the text and finish the battle, it'll stop. Like, the number of stops has whatever HP you'll have at the end of the battle. So it's, like, it's nice to, like, have that as an option, because, like, if... If it, if you didn't have that, it would it, this game would be so hard. Where the frick is it? The town hall's in here somewhere, I think. There it is. All right, get this key from this dude. But yeah, um, like the money thing is nice because whenever you the only thing you get when you get game over is uh is losing your PP. Like, I game over, I don't know if you lose all of it. You lose some, I'm pretty sure. Um, that's the only negative thing about it, really. Hello. I'm the next election. Please give your speech to support Wait. Please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. Hehe. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, 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 hey. I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. So nice to meet you. You be up at town bullies. Punch them out big time. Kick their butts. Bit their heads off. Spit in their eyes. And made them wet their pants. Then you force them to promise to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key for the touring entertainer shack? For someone as great as you, giving the key could help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be a... I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Sure. Such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. You learn in this game that, like, the, the like, people who are in charge are corrupt as hell. <laughs> like, this happens a lot in this game. Like, the people are like, uh, I don't want to do anything, so you just take care of it. Thank you. It's really funny, but, I mean, it accurately represents governments nowadays. I'm not going to get into that, though. <clears throat> so first, I want to, yeah, I keep doing that. Keep hitting the map button for the thing. Okay, so what's my status at? Yeah, I'm gonna go heal at my mom's really fast. So, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I'll heal it up. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But you might be noticing, um, I don't know if you actually are, but, like, the enemies around here are actually running away from me now. That happens either when you get too high of a level or you beat the area boss, which I think Frank might have been the area boss. I'm not sure. Um, but they run away from you, and they, you'll always get great encounters with them, so it's kind of nice. Door is locked. Do I have the key? Hello? But yeah, um, that happens a lot. So, like, if you beat, like, the area of a dungeon, like the dungeon boss, the enemies in the dungeon will run away from you, so that's kind of nice. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna talk to those guys, because those guys are weird. Oh, no, that bet. Oh, that bet was not looking good. Alright, so here's the first actual dungeon of the game. 
I don't know what this place is called. I'm guessing it's just, I'm just gonna guess it's called like a cave or something. But here's the first enemy of the cave, and it's called Rowdy Mouse. Uh, he's actually one of the only enemies that you can actually get a smash. Like, the smash is you. Some enemies do do that, see, look at that. He has a hot, that means he has a high gut stat. So it's, that's good, I guess. And let's see what else we got. There's more Rowdy Mouses. There's also, like, slugs and ants, I think. These little guys right here. They're actually good for experience because you get um, your first Psy move soon. And you fight like six of these guys at once. And you just use Psy and you kill all of them at once. And it's really good for experience. I might do that off screen, I'm not sure. But it's dangerous because if you miss somehow, then you're screwed. <laughs> the skip sandwich. Skip sandwiches are interesting because they kill you a little bit. Like six or ten. But that's not, that's not their main purpose. Their main purpose is to actually uh, make you walk faster. So you use these slugs. And they don't do much damage. And they do have Psy, but I want to say, like, they have to, like, they have to, like, wait before they can use Psy. Maybe that's something else. Maybe I'm thinking of another enemy. But they're not very strong, regardless. Like, you just mash A and win. <laughs> and you get 108 experience. That's a third of my level. So, yeah. Um. If you really want to, to avoid all enemies. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. That was my speed up button on accident. <laughs> I rotated my control stick. Ow, for now. Stop being a booty butt. Um. A bread roll, nice. Uh, what, what can I throw away? I'll throw away a skip sandwich, I don't need it. I'm gonna eat that bread roll right now, though. Because I want to be of wealth. Because if you get ambushed by like those black antonoi things, then you're just like, you're just, just <laughs> you're gone. More experience. Alright, let's go in here. I think there's a, there's a uh, chest in here. There isn't? I don't know. Hopefully I'll learn my first side move soon. I think I do. Because like, okay, story time. This game, if you think this game is hard, you should, uh, you should play, uh, if you can somehow get, like, the, uh, NES version of Mother 1, you learn Psy moves at random. Ooh, nice, level 8. Oh my god, 5 to, oh my, bleh. Nice, and, okay, Psy Bolt. Did I put it as Bolt? I'm, oh, I think this is my other file, because I saved on the emulator, and I had to, like, go or something. So it's side bolt now. I named it side shot. That's probably inconsistent as hell, but I think that's what I was. I was thinking like I wanted to name it sound cooler, so I named it bolt instead of shock. That's what I wanted to name it as initially, but I forgot what it was when I was recording, and I was like, shit, what is it? <laughs> but that's what I wanted to name it. As. Sorry if it's inconsistent. This is my practice file that I made. Oh, I, want, I wanted a green fight. That would have been cool. I'm not, I would use Psy on these things, but, um, Psy Bolt is a, is a, uh, Psy attack that's specific to Ness. Only he can do it. It's like his, like, specialty thing. It attacks all the enemies in the, in the room. It costs, at least Alpha costs 10 PP. Beta costs, like, 24, I think. But, um, a very strong move. A bomb? Ooh, I'm getting the good drops. I think that was, like, his 128. I'm not... Sure, probably a 64, honestly. But this dungeon isn't that hard. Um, if you're trained a little bit, like even a little bit, uh, God, these guys are smashing me a lot. <coughs> uh, you shouldn't, you should have no trouble. Unless you get somehow uh, encountered with like six Antoids, which they can actually do damage to you. I'm gonna eat a hamburger. I have like seven of them, so. Also, the, uh. I need that. I could have dropped that. The number, like, anything after, like, a cookie, because cookie always heals, heals six, but anything, like, after that, it's not always set in stone. Like, a hamburger can heal between, like, 30 and 50. So it's not like you're always gonna heal this, like, a potion. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, it wastes your turn. Yeah. I like it. Give me that experience. How much do I need to the next level? Out of curiosity. 158. I could probably level up one more time. 
it's hard to tell when they're when you're in front of them with this whole them being like two pixels big. Thank you for the extra experience, friend. <laughs> Free. Oh. See, these guys are actually like they hurt. Really? You have life up, you're a bug. Come on now. I must have 34 HP because I did, or 33, I did 32 and didn't kill it, and 34 and did. So I'm cutting out random battles. I'm, I know it's probably irritating. Ooh, all six. I get to show you off. I get to show off uh, bolts. So instead of fighting all six, I'm just gonna use this side bolt. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It looks a lot cooler. Uh, like the higher level it gets. Can see instead of attacking all these guys and possibly maybe dying, you can just do that. Bam. Nice. Got some HP and MP. Alright, this is the first like section of it. Now, there's always there's always a uh, moth out here or a uh, butterfly. Um, well if if not always, there's a really good chance. So just heal up whatever you can and just heal with it. This heals twenty every time you hit one. And if you want to, you can just keep grinding and just keep going in and out, in and out, in and out. I'm not going to do that, though, because I want to keep going. Alright. I was going to say, I probably could beat this guy in one hit. I was thinking that, actually. Like, one of those, like, instant kill things. Uh, hamburger. I could probably get rid of some stuff instead of that. Yeah, that's, I can just drop that. Hamburger is more important than a stupid cold remedy. Because you get, um... In this game, you get, uh, you get afflicted with a cold status, and, uh, um, what is it? Uh, like, it's like poison, kinda. Like, you sneeze and take damage, but it also affects you outside of battle, so that's what that's for. Alright, so if you go up here, it's actually the boss. I said dungeon wasn't so hard, was it? Here's like the signature of the boss, like for the Your Sanctuary locations. I'm just gonna make sure I'm all healed up. 1930, yep. I'm good. I really hope I don't die, but I should be fine. We finally got here. This is the first Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. You're gonna hear that monologue a lot. Alright, so this is the Titanic Ant, um, and he actually comes with two black antoids. First thing you want to do is the things I always do is use bolt ones to kill the black antoids. Ah, crap. Oh, that was only one. So just kill off these guys, because you can just waste two turns and attack them, but there's no point. So, um, I would say save your PP, because at this point you can't heal it with any items. Shield of Light, does that deflect? Okay, no. And just keep attacking. He's wasting a lot of his turn, which is nice. I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna use bolt on him again. Just keep attacking. I'm not sure how much HP he has. If I do bios, I'll put it there. Okay, I need to heal next turn. I'm gonna eat a burger, actually, to save my PP. No. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> Damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. I was too low. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I, uh... I, it respawned me all the way at the drugstore, so I had to walk all the way back here and do it. But luckily, I actually gained a level. Um, nothing too crazy. I did learn Healing A, which is kind of like, uh... Like a remedy. Like, kind of thing. Like, it heals certain things. It doesn't heal everything, though. Um, it heals, like, cold, sunstroke, I think. I'm not entirely positive of exactly what it heals. It heals some things, but it doesn't work all the time. Anyways... I realize I have a bomb I could use. I'm just gonna throw that instead. I'm just gonna throw that first. Yeah, shut up. Let's get this over with. Don't take my. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you also get that that magnet thing, which basically it's like a drain attack. I saw this bomb at you. Let's see what that does. Nice. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's not good. I need to heal. Why is it doing so much more damage now? What the hell? What happened? Hmm. I'm 
not sure. Oh, wait. Did he defense down me? Maybe he did. I'm not sure. Ow. <laughs> Kill it. Crap, I think I'm dead again. Oh, thank god. I'm gonna take my first down care. I'm actually gonna heal more time. Thank god I did. Alright, you need to die soon, friend. Sorry, sorry to say, but you need to die. This is the only boss I don't like. Cause like you're forced to just to attack it, you have nothing else to use it on. Alright, we won. Nice. Nice. Oh baby, offense. I'm getting a lot of offense. Wow, that's ridiculous. Alright, so we beat him. Thank god. I thought I was gonna die again. I was like, really? Alright. I just caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. That's the sounds from recorded melody of the giant step. So basically what that does is, it makes it so, um, there are seven sanctuary locations, obviously. The soundstone records the sound that each place makes. It also heals you, uh, entirely, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, see now all the enemies are running away from me? Hey, I could go kill them all if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Unless I am close to level up, let's see. Nah, I'm not close. I'm just gonna go. Um, so now we have that, uh, I would say I'm going to meet you out there, but I mean, I want to talk a little bit. Um, that boss actually really sucks. I have, that's like the one part, that's like the one boss in this game I don't like, because he, oh my god, there's a lot of enemies here, holy crap, holy crap. Alright, um, what is it, like, because like you have no option, because he has that shield. He also drains your PP. It's like one of those like chance things. I don't know. It's silly. But we're past it, so that's good. Hello. Hey you. The board says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Uh no. What a rebellious kid. Come to the on that police station later. I like how it doesn't even like drag you away. Like you just kinda like you should come here later if you want. So let's oblige. <laughs> What's these guys have to say? Wow, you opened the door. Alright, here's a ticket for good luck. It's a travel charm. Oh. Wait, can I equip that? Hold on. Did I miss something all these years? I never knew that. Oh my god. What does it do? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe something cool. What's this guy say? Maybe he gets me something too. Uh huh. The big footprint is called Giant Step. What a way cool name. No. Okay. <laughs> Do you think there would be like giant steps? Oh, this guy's also like a help mall. I'm not your enemy. I'm simply an average run of the mill mall. Would you like to continue your fight on fighting enemies? Listen carefully. The hit and falls which are you facing when the battle because I already said this. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I love how they break the fourth wall so much in this game, it's ridiculous. In any case your TV oops again. The world in front of you will show a green swirl. It's hilarious. I don't know, this game. I don't know, for some reason games that break the fourth wall to me are like hilarious. Like this one Paper Mario. At least if that was in your door. I'm not sure about uh the regular paper marks. I've never played it before. I've never beaten it. I've played it but never beaten it. Did I hope it's in here. Plano garbage dang. I was hoping that's something something cool. Eh, eh, let me eat through, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh where's the police station? Here it is. Do 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 do. Hello. Ooh, you're red as hell. Look at it. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids should like kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Shh, yes, I do. Okay, what's a chortle? I've never heard of a chortle before, but whatever. Am I going to jail? Am I going to get like? Oh, it's this kind of party. Never mind. How much you got? See if you can get past five of my best men. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Hey, small frog, you must be shaking in your boots. Um. Not really. These guys don't seem that tough. Ooh, maybe they are. How much HP do y'all have? 
okay, two. I can heal every third one, I think. Yeah. So much XP. You only have to fight four of these guys, which is good. You go, um, the last guy chickens out, he's like, oh my god, he's, you're strong as hell, I'm gonna run away from you. Oh, I need to heal. <laughs> Thank you for the awesome music every time I find I find one of those. Fat boy, what the hell? I'm like ten. I don't think ten year olds can be fat. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Really? At that point, like when you're ten, I don't know. I feel like you're growing into your body more than anything. Dude, attack him! Holy crap! I need to heal again, are you kidding me? Oh, what? What? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. <laughs> My nuclear suplex attack. Dang. I really hope, I really hope he misses. Damn. Ness? Ness. Ness. I'm a friend you've never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Sorry about that. I was uh back to he I was uh, going and healing at my mom's house because I ran on my I my PP went to crap apparently. But um. Okay, it's back to fighting guys. I'll be back to the th fourth one, I think? Third one. So it seems I leveled up one once more time. I keep dying to these guys. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm guessing they suck. That was a really good that was a really good level up. Um but hell I went up by two, which means I got a crap ton of HP. And speed apparently. Uh man, this game is so hard, I love it. <laughs> I yeah, never fought. Come on, I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. Oof, what? Hello? I need an adult. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm having a much better time after that level up. No! I'm gonna make sure you're at like full health or as high as you can get after this fight because, uh. Um, you get to fight the actual, like, sergeant next. Oh, spoiler alert. Sorry, I didn't mean to spoil it for you guys. Grr, I lost. Yeah, this guy whips out. He's like, that's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call him for my boss. And he's like, see ya. There's no way I could beat it. There's no way I could beat it in a straight competition. So, get ready for my super ultra mambo, mambo, tango, foxtrot, martial arts. This guy. Captain Strong. He shouldn't be that hard. Uh, I also learned shield A. Uh... Basically, I think it like helps your defense. I think I'm not sure. Man, I hate this game. <laughs> Came out swinging. He's not hard though. Like he himself is not a hard boss. Oh, please. Okay, thank God. Kill it. Kill it with foia. Stop upping your defense. Okay, thank god. I was worried for a second. I didn't think you would do so well against my, the mighty Onet police force. Want me to open the door to Tucson? Hang on for a second. I'll read the staff and give them the word. Beep, beep, click, er, click. Strong here. Do you read me? Kurt, hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, there's a kid named Ness who will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in the red cap. I want you to open the road for Tucson for him. I know that. I know that! But that's my, just do it as an order. Strong out. Thanks. Well, kid, I'm not gonna question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. That was like the gayest experience I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I mean, what? That's not awkward at all. Anyways, I think this episode's gone on for long enough. I don't know how long it actually is now, but I'm at 38, 36 in my recording. So, um, I'm gonna go heal up, and I'll see you guys next time when we actually go to Tucson, alright? See you guys then.